close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing. And notice if it feels good. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, we can change. Shallower breathing, shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Try to see what the body needs right now. If you're feeling tired, you want a breath that's more energizing. If you're feeling tense, you want a breath that's more relaxing. Try to keep in touch with the needs of the body. And this way you get the body and the mind together. That way they strengthen each other. When the mind has a good place to stay here in the present moment, it's a lot less likely to go wandering out outside, getting itself into trouble. In the meantime, the body has somebody looking after it. It's like the owner of a house. If the owner of the house doesn't stay in the house, all kinds of things can move into the house in the meantime. Rot can develop. Animals can move in. Pipes can burst. And there's nobody there to look after it. The house becomes a mess. Then when the owner comes back, oh, the house is a mess, doesn't want to live there, and runs away again. In the meantime, the owner is exposed to the sun and the rain and the cold and the hot weather outside. What you want is the owner living in the house, looking after the house, and the owner gets shelter and the house gets looked after. In other words, you use the breath to look after the needs of the body, and as the body becomes more and more comfortable, you're more likely to stay here. Now, the reason you want to stay here is because the forces that are shaping your life are coming up in your mind right now, with each present moment. The intentions with, with which we choose to look at something and listen to something or say something or do something, they happen right here. And this is the point where you can make a difference in them. And once an intention has been decided on and you've acted on it, that's it. And you can go back and try to correct the mistake you made, but the fact that you made that mistake originally is something that's already there. So we want to prevent our mistakes in advance by staying right here. You see an intention comes up and you see it clearly because you're here, and then you can un understand whether it's skillful or not skillful, whether it's something you want to go with or something you don't. If you're running around all over the place, it's like a, a parent who's just busy with lots of, lots of jobs, lots of responsibilities, and the children are saying, do this, do that, and the mother says, okay, do this, without really thinking. And then the children take over. So what you want is you in charge, the adult you in charge, looking after your intentions. And that way you can look back on your past intentions as a sense of well-being. There's a sense of esteem that comes from that. And by developing more of these good qualities in the present moment, you've got the future covered as well, because you carry these good habits into the future too. So the present is where the mind really belongs. If it goes into the past and the future, you want it to go there with a specific intention in mind, with a specific aim in mind, and then come back home. That way you don't just wander around and get into trouble. And you take care of the, the force of life. That's the most important thing, which is your intentions coming up in the mind. These things shape your life now and on into the future. So stay right here so you can make sure that they're shaping things well.